Hey guys, uh, I'm Arundhati, and along with my teammates Arthur Duner, Robin DeMonico, and Stephen LaFortune, uh, we created a VR online web store. So think Amazon.com, except in 3D. We thought it would be a cool idea um, to take take that web layout and make it so that you could interact with the objects. Something that'd be pretty cool to do, like view an object before you buy it. So we thought this would be an intuitive experience that would be a cool thing to have in the future. So why not start it now? So I'm going to give you a brief demo of how our web store works at the moment. So right now, if you can see what I'm seeing, uh, there's a table in front of me, which we will use to display our objects. And there's this category menu like in a normal online web store. Um, so right now we're at the top, top level of categories. So as you can see, our top level categories are objects, boxes, and cylinders in this case. So I'm going to go into the boxes subcategory. I mean the objects subcategory. Cool, so I went in the subcategory. If I wanted to, I could click on this up arrow, which I will, which is going up a category, and I'm back to this menu. But I'm going to go back into objects. So now I have my subcategories of heroes and other. Heroes misspelled. Sorry about that. Bug fix later. But I'm going to go into this category. And heroes, as you can see, has come up here. And that is a bottom level category. Now what that means is the heroes category has objects in it. So now I'm going to turn my attention to this table. So I'm going to walk up to it. And if you can read the text, uh, we've got four objects in our heroes category. We've got the Hulk, we've got Crash Bandicoot, Iron Man, and I guess Beethoven's a hero, hero to some, but whatever. So I'm going to click on one of these panels with my controller. So I'm going to click the grip button, sorry, the trigger button on my Vive controller on Crash. And then we've got an object of Crash Bandicoot coming up. So if you look, I can walk up to him through the table, I guess, and then go interact with them. Kind of just wave my hand through him. And then on the side, we've implemented some rotate buttons. So I can click on this rotate button twice, and he'll ro rotate 180 degrees. And then I can go up to him, look in his mouth. Hi. Um, so now if you look at the panel I used to click on Crash, I can click on this click to delete button. So I can click on it to delete him. And then I'm back to these four panels. I can click on Crash again to have him come up. And I can click on other panels to have all these different guys come up. Um, yeah, and I can rotate through them. I can go up another menu, go back to the top level, scroll left and right to see more categories, and then go through to a different category and have those objects come up as well. So that's our basic implementation. Um, as you can see, we've also implemented a VR clock, which actually tells the time. And we've got a lot of objects around the scene. It could be prettier, but got a few objects around the scene, and you can interact with them. So I can click on this Charizard right here. I don't know if you heard that, but it made a sound. So I can click on all these different objects, have different sounds, a cow goes moo. <laughs> Maybe you heard that one, that was loud. And then I can click on He-Man, whatever, but I don't need to click on everything to show you, but that's the main point. You can interact with the objects around the scene, you can interact with objects on the table, and you can click the cash register to check out. That's a future feature, but that's gonna happen. And eventually we're gonna add more features like scaling up the, uh, the object, maybe able to like hold, grab the object and move it around, That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, so this is the current implementation for our webware final project. But some of us are going to work on it in the future, and we're going to have fun with it. So thanks for watching.